Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some booster cracking on this Sunday. And we've got some Japanese War of the Spark packs. Finally able to find some of these. I started finally carrying them in the U.S., uh, which was pretty dope to find at Walmart. I wasn't expecting to do this today. I was expecting to finish up the Force of Will box that we started last week and then uh, went to Walmart and I remembered something. So I ran with all my might over to the section, and sure enough, they had two left. Grabbed both of them, and I was like, yep, this is happening this weekend. So there's four packs in each. We only get two of the Japan versions of War of the Spark, and then it looks like we got, like, uh, what is that one? Allegiance, and a Dominaria. Looks like another Dominaria, and maybe an Ixon or something like that. So... We got a couple random ones, and then, uh, yeah, these were the sparks, so let's jump into this thing. Alright, let's crack this open, see if we can find something good, some good Japanese alternative art. It's only a 50% chance to get them in each pack. It's pretty good. I mean, you'll probably get one. Uh, you'd have to have crap luck not to get one, basically, but there might be a pack in here where we, we don't get one, but it's worth it. These, uh, this is the... These uh, four packs were a little bit more expensive. Oh, it looks like we get some promos too or something. Ooh, Beast Whisperer. Okay, sweet. I'll take that. Where's the other one? Looks like we got another one here. What is this one? Oh my gosh. Okay. Foil? Primal Storm? Dang. I didn't know the, you got promos in there. I guess I'm not reading the packaging. Yeah, first, uh, four booster packs and two promo cards. Dope. All right. Well, that sweetens the deal a little bit. I was just about to say that these uh, packs were 20 bucks for four packs. Obviously, these go for a little bit more than usual just because of the value that could be inside. If you pull that like foil Liliana alternative art, it's like, I don't even know, like $200 card or something crazy. And this is Theros. This is not Ixalan. So, man, I don't know if I've ever opened a Theros pack. All right, let's leave our Japan packs for the end. Let's start with Dominaria here and see what we can find. If we get anything good in here, I gotta sell these quick because this is about to be out of rotation. Deep Freeze, Prospector, Fessner, Rat Colony, Broken Bonds, Journey Mage, Eldest Reborn, and we've got Helm of Host as our rare. Not uh, super fantastic. Oh, yeah, that's right. I always forget that they did that. I don't know why they did that. Put an uncommon after the rare. Whatever. Theros. Okay, I don't know what is in these packs or what's of any value. This is a pretty old set now. But uh, I believe you can get gods in this pack. Some classic cards in here for sure. Crusader. Cerberus, time to feed. When I first got into Magic, I bought a bunch of just random cards, and like so many of them were from this set. So I'm pretty familiar with a lot of the cards, but never had a chance to open the pack. We've got uh, just a bulk rare, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's just a bulk rare. So nothing interesting thus far. I think we're going to save all our Japan packs to the end. So let's pull these out. Oh, looks like we got another Beast Whisperer. All right, cool. Are they all going to be the same promos in every pack? Take out this. Yeah, same promos. So double up on the promos, which is pretty crazy. And yep, some... Oh, that was Guilds of Ravnica. Oh, silly me. I was just saying Ravnica Allegiance. I'm a goof. All right, so we'll keep those over there. And we'll jump into... Let's do Guilds of Ravnica. Fire Urchin, Pack Beast, Child of Night, Legionnaire, Peacemaker, Whisper Agent, uh, Trooper, Demotion, Thought Erasure, and an Assassin's Trophy. These things went down in price like crazy now. <laughs> I, I think they still go for a few bucks, but man, remember on pre-release night when uh, these things go for like $60 if you had a foil? Pretty crazy. All right, Dominaria, what can you give us? Can you give me a Teferi? That'd be cool. I'll take a Teferi. Probably the only card that'll be worth anything major after rotation. 
Fire, a Construct, a Reproach, Land of War Elves, Eldest Reborn, Dampening Sphere, and a Steel Leaf Champion. It's not the best. And a Fire Fletcher. Alright, let's get into them. The Japanese packs. What will we find in these things? I am really excited. Oof. Alright, here we go. So none of these things are going to have any value because they're all Japanese. The only things that will be of any value will be the Planeswalker cards. And let's see what we can get. Oh boy. Oh yes, that's three uncommons. Give me something. Ooh, Nisa, that is awesome. Look at that artwork. Come on. That is awesome. It's definitely one of the ones I wanted to get for my own personal collection, but dang, that is sweet. That is so cool. All right, on to the next one. What will we get? The Crunch? Gotta remember Crunch. Stray Cat. Oh, we got the uncommon, just regular old normal artwork. That's a bummer. Oh well. Oh, I don't know what that one's worth, but probably nothing. See, we had that 50% chance, and uh, still staying pretty true. One uh, Japanese alternate, and the other one was just normal, so. Let's see if we can get lucky and get two Japanese in both these packs that we have left. All right, one uncommon, two uncommon, three uncommon, oh, just a normal, dang. Bummer, looks like a butcher, is that a butcher one? I forget the name of that one. All right, this better be another Japanese one, otherwise I'll be pretty disappointed. Let's destroy this pack really quick. No big deal. Here we go. Crocodile. Hound. Neoform. Oh, nice. You got the alternate version of, uh, what's his name? Tybalt. Tybalt, yeah. That's, uh, that's not bad. And a big card and a foil. Nice little foil common. So we got two, which isn't bad. We did get one rare, so that's nice. I'll take it. Uh, she's definitely worth at least like 10, 20 bucks maybe? I'm not sure. So all our pulls for the day, we've got the nice double promos of Primal Storm and a nice double promo of Beast Whisperer. Total's up on screen now. Uh, I don't know if we did too great, but we got a nice Tybalt alternate art. And then of course the Nisa alternate art, pretty sweet. But uh, hopefully we did all right with uh, those two alternate arts. But uh, I enjoyed opening these Japanese packs. Haven't had a chance to, like I said, so that was pretty cool. And uh, if I ever go to Walmart again, you know, I'll probably pick them up again as well but the 50 percent pull rate stayed true unfortunately we only got two of them but still not bad and hopefully you guys enjoyed watching if you did leave a like on the video and subscribe for more crackings every sunday and we will see you guys in the next video